Are you using DaVinci Resolve on a Mac and can't seem to get the audio working in Fairlight? I have exactly the same issue. I have a MacBook Pro, I'm using DaVinci Resolve 16, and when I try to record audio for a voiceover, there's no audio from my, my microphone. So I'm just about to go through and just show you what it's like um, when I try to record my audio. Okay, so this is a video clip and there's no audio in there. I'm going to go into Fairlight and I will just take my audio one because I want it to record on this and this is my audio one external microphone. I've got a lav mic and I'm going to patch it through. It's already patched but just for the sake of this video make sure it's patched. Then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the R and normally I can't click on the R if I'm not patched. So that at least to that stage everything should be fine. I'm going to click record and try and record my voice. And let's go back to edit. And you can see it has recorded an audio file, but there's no voice. Let me just show you one sec. There's no audio in there. And I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to quit DaVinci Resolve. And I'm going to show you how a little workaround which, um, which I found on the Black Magic Design website. And what you do is you first start a terminal, and in the terminal, you type in Open Applications, and I hit the Tab key to auto-complete in case you're wondering how I'm typing so fast. It's not because I'm typing fast. It's because I'm using a Tab key. Um, then you want to go to DaVinci, so capital D, DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve again, dot app. Then I just double tab, tells me contents, double tab again, Mac OS, and Resolve. So that's how I start DaVinci Resolve as the workaround. Now, <coughs> when I, I installed exactly the same um, version of DaVinci Resolve on my partner's MacBook, and she has exactly the same MacBook as me. They're basically identical and we're both running the same operating system and what's happened for her is if you if i show you my preferences um, if you go to security and privacy and you go to microphone for her she does have uh, davinci resolve in here but i don't and the difference between her install and mine is when i installed mine my davinci resolve i started it like this davinci resolve but when I started hers for the very first time, I used this method of using a terminal. And when I used this method of using the terminal, it asked me um, for permission to access the downloads folder. It asked me for permissions to access audio. And all those questions which didn't happen when I, when I started it the first time the normal way. So if you haven't installed DaVinci Resolve before, uh, but um, likely you already have, and that's why you're having this issue, um, that would be a great way of getting everything working without that problem. And uh, now, I just want to also show you that in sounds what I have set up. So my sound effects are just MacBook Pro speakers and my output is MacBook Pro speakers and my input, I'm using a lav, external lav mic and that's what you can see there. Okay, let's open up this project again. Alright, so let's give this another try. Let's go to Fairlight and I am going to use Audio Track 1, go to Input and there's my external mic and that's my Audio Track 1. I'm going to patch that, close that and I'm going to click the R. Whoa! Okay. Maybe I'm too close to my mic. I'm not sure. Oh, I know why. So that's feedback because it's using both the uh, my external microphone and it's echoing back. That's why. Um, sorry about that. So basically what's happened there is the speakers was uh, giving feedback to the microphone that's currently my, my lav mic and that's why that's happening. Anyway, back to this. 
Now you can see I'm actually getting audio this time. So let's do this test. Testing one, two, three. And I can see there's already an audio wave in there. If I go back to edit, there you go. And if I click on play, now it's probably not going to play because I've changed my preferences, so I'll just change that back. Back to sound. And I'll just stay away from the uh, speakers so I'm not too close to them. And I'm going to say MacBook speakers. And hope it doesn't blast us again. Testing one, two, three. And I can see. Okay, so the audio does work. Where did I get this fix from? I got it from the Blackmagic Design Forum. Uh, there's a guy called Juan uh, Francisco Calero. And uh, this is where I found. Um, the fix. I'll pop that into the description as well. And that's basically it.